Hi everybody, my name is Susanna and this is the area where I live in Liverpool, England. It's called Agnes Jones House, it's right next to the University of Liverpool, but it's not what the video is about. In today's video, I'm going to take you through a city tour around the city of Liverpool. This area of Liverpool is called the Georgian Quarter and it's right next door to the University of Liverpool. It's beautiful all year round, but especially during Christmas when all the residents put out their best Christmas decorations. And it's also known for filming, so you might have seen it in, for example, Peaky Blinders. This is Hope Street and this behind me is a case history. It's a collection of static suitcases created by an artist, John King, and it pays tribute to both those who passed through the city and those who stayed here to make their home. It's sweet, isn't it? On both ends of Hope Street, we've got our two cathedrals. One is the very modern Metropolitan Cathedral, it's right next to the university, and the other one is the Anglican Cathedral. It's huge and it's beautiful, and FYI, is my mom's favorite spot in Liverpool. And this is Liverpool Philharmonic and it's a great music venue and it's also where the University of Liverpool students have their graduation. And this is the Everyman Theatre and it launch careers for actors like Julie Walters, Bill Nye and Kathy Tyson. We're now on top of Bolt Street and this is the Bump Out Church and it's called like that because during the Second World War the whole inside was destroyed by fire. But now it's a place for you know, food festivals, concerts, events, and if you're into political movements, this is usually where your protest and march would start. Okay, from the Bone Out Church, which is usually my meetup place with all my friends, we're just gonna go down Ball Street, which personally is my favorite street in the whole Liverpool, or at least the Liverpool Center. It's usually super busy, but it's also very much cosmopolitan, if you will, and it's got tons of very cozy restaurants and cafes. We've got Bull Street Coffee right here, and apparently it's the best coffee in the city. This is the Liverpool Water Sports Centre, guys, and you can book in to go kayaking, stand up paddle boarding or even open water swimming in the docks. Of course, if you don't mind accidentally falling into water. Behind me is the MS Bank Arena and it's the biggest venue in the whole city for all big events, exhibitions and concerts. And it's been home to acts like Beyonce, Kanye West, Katy Perry and Bob Dylan. This is Albert Dock. It's the most visited multi-use attraction in the UK outside London with its cute cafes and restaurants Tate Gallery and obviously a lot of souvenir shops. The Pierhead is a home to the Free Graces, which is a striking trio of buildings, including the Liber Building, the Cunard Building, and also the Port of Liverpool Building. The statue behind me is another Instagrammable spot in Liverpool, and unless you've been living under a rock your whole life, you would have recognized the Beatles. So get used to seeing those guys. Liverpool One is the biggest open-air shopping mall in the whole of Europe. And it's also the only retail destination in the whole country that includes a park. This is Concert Square and it's often referred to as the heart of Liverpool's nightlife. And that's because the area is populated with the best nightclubs and the best bars in the city and indeed in the northwest of England. We also have our own Chinatown. It's actually the oldest in the whole Europe. And this behind me is the largest Chinese arch outside of China. Liverpool has a lot of murals, and not gonna lie, they're extremely Instagrammable. If Concert Square is one of the busiest nightlife areas in the city, the Baltic Triangle is definitely one of the coolest and the most creative. It is sometimes called the creative playground of Liverpool. The warehouses that make up the majority of the buildings in the Baltic Triangle are remnants of Liverpool's maritime history, and the regenerated warehouses are now home to creative and tech businesses and quirky bars and restaurants. This is Matthew Street and this is exactly where the Cavern Club is and if you didn't know, that's where the Beatles used to play. And we also have the Wall of Fame with bricks with all the names of bands and artists that played at the Cavern Club. And Liverpool has been mentioned in the titles of more songs than any other city. 
a short walk from Matthew Street, there's this beautiful park where I'm sat right now. It's called St. John's Gardens. It's a really nice green space for when you want to chill out. And right across from that, we've got museums and art galleries. And apparently, Liverpool has more of them than any other city outside London. This is St. George's Hall, and it's been a location for a lot of huge movies like Harry Potter or most recently Robert Pattinson's Batman. And it's also designed to be the first thing that you see and are impressed by when you come out of the Liverpool Lime Street station, which is right across there. This is your main rail link to the rest of the country and for example in two and a half hours you can be in London. Liverpool looks great during the day but it looks even better at night. So with the dogs behind me, I'll now say goodbye to you as this is the end of this city tour. I really hope you liked it and that it showed you what the city of Liverpool is and why it feels like a home away from home for me and for other students too. Bye!